Okay, thanks, uh, thanks very much um, for that, Justin. Um, what I want to uh, talk about, uh, following on um, from uh, Justin's uh, thematic introduction, um, is about the cultural resources um, to sustain this debate about cities and culture and creative cities. Um, I want to tell you about the UNESCO Creative Cities Network um, that is a network of cities working together with a common mission for cultural diversity and sustainable urban development. So this is very much a sense in which although we recognize that different cities have their own cultural and creative particularity, the things that Justin mentioned, um, actually there are opportunities and uh, possibilities of learning um, lessons from other cities that are similarly um, concerned with their um, cultural and uh, um, creative um, dimensions. The Creative Cities Network program was launched by UNESCO um, in 2004, um, and it grows out of a set of concerns for UNESCO um, about cultural diversity. Okay, so in many respects, you can see this as a counter-argument to the colonization of debates about the creative and cultural city by the economic. Okay, so it's saying, don't forget the cultural and also beware of the ways in which this, uh, the very thing that makes us strongest, the diversity of culture, can be potentially damaged by the um, reducing focus on the economic and on the reduction of choice um, in terms of uh, cultural expression uh, here. Um, so the idea is that uh, um, cities um, are increasingly seen as a focus for action on uh, um, culture and creativity. Obviously, the fact that something like 50% of the world's population now lives in cities, um, it's inevitable um, that cities are a focus uh, for this activity. Um, but as we have recognized, um, there is an um, a, um, over-representation of cultural and creative activities in cities. Um, it doesn't mean that uh, um, these activities don't happen in smaller um, rural and village settings, um, but there is a concentration, a critical mass, if you like, um, in cities, um, and that's why this is an important uh, um, focus. Of course, we've also uh, recognized that uh, an important part of the response um, to uh, economic shocks and decline has been the, not just the economic models, but the human resources, the human and cultural responses um, to these economic um, um, events. And uh, I guess what the uh, debate about, uh, about cities and, uh, and culture is that this is an important extra resource in terms of regenerating or in fact reimagining the future uh, of cities. So again, emphasizing that this is a, a really important part about sustaining city life um, and also imagining the future of city life as well. From UNESCO's perspective, um, they have uh, focused on the fact that uh, cities might be creative hubs. Um, these are concentrations of cultural and creative activity. Um, but also they are clusters. They are the um, embodiment, the example of the way that in practice, um, culture and economy work out a new relationship. Yeah, as Justin mentioned, it's all very well at a higher policy level to say these two relationships need to work together. Um, but in practice, um, people do it. Um, they apply uh, the relationship between culture and economy through their everyday actions. And very much the foundation of the city of uh, culture and creativity um, is about the practices. So we need to learn from cities about how they're resolving um, these uh, issues. Sorry, I'm meant to be uh, changing um, the slide here. Um, oh, it's not changing. So uh, the Creative Cities Network has been uh, established um, 
to promote um, culture and creative industries, um, but at the same time to harness cultural diversity um, and also to foster global partnerships. The idea that there's a transversal set of interests of cities um, with similar um, um, cultural spheres um, and also that uh, to use the resources of other cities who have uh, also faced similar problems uh, and to share these policy responses um, and discussions across other cities as well. So this is uh, the initiative um, that is uh, set up. Um, the idea that uh, creative cities are a uh, an important part of sustainable um, development, that cities um, contain the entire range of the cult culture and creative industries production system from the idea of initiating ideas through making, experimenting, distributing and also educating and archiving this whole process of, uh, of, uh, of, of production um, are often contained within cities, this, the, the ecosystem of cultural uh, production. Um, but also they are about the interconnection between the local and the global, the flows of people, um, as you take the example of the fashion industry, for example, the flows of workers and also of designers across the world that you know well and have experienced in Prato um, here. Um, there's the culture and cities are not just um, inward looking, but they have to be outward looking as well. And it's about uh, the way that uh, there is a creative relationship and an inventive relationship uh, about the new challenges, new problems that uh, these activities um, often um, give rise to. Um, so the uh, UNESCO um, program um, has a number of areas of, uh, of focus, um, these different fields. Um, so uh, creative cities um, fall in, in a number of different categories, from crafts and folk art, to music, to literature, um, to design, gastronomy, um, film, and media arts. Um, the range of these activities is to acknowledge the uh, unique diversity in creative fields and to encourage cross-disciplinary interaction. To strengthen for cities um, identity and also um, the uh, self-reflection of what that city has to offer uh, itself and the world, and also to learn lessons from other cities in similar um, fields, um, rather than simply promoting it at, as a creative city, uh, rather than just a branding exercise. And primarily, um, I guess, cutting across this is to facil facilitate collaboration and cooperation um, amongst um, cities. Um, at the moment, uh, there are 41 member cities uh, around the world in each of these, uh, um, cutting across these seven uh, sectors. There, in fact, is uh, now a new program of extend extending the network um, to create um, both a global um, balance um, but also um, recognizing the different uh, sorts of contributions um, that uh, size of cities make. As you can see, the cities um, that are already in the network, you can see two uh, Italian cities for music, Bologna, um, and uh, Fabriano for craft and uh, folk art. Um, but the network is expanding, I think, to take on um, and to create the support um, across um, cities uh, in, the, uh, in, in the world and to recognize um, the contribution and learning that can occur across the, the, the network. So I've pointed to the fact that cities um, will seek uh, a designation, if you like, of a, of a UNESCO Creative City Network member. Um, and sometimes, um, I, I guess, cities uh, see that as a success in and of itself and are very happy and then go away. Um, but that will be to miss the point. 
Um, the main point, um, I think, as you'll see if you were interested in applying to be a member of this network, is to demonstrate your connection um, and the ways in which you could learn and contribute to a global network and a, building a global partnership. Um, so the network is a platform for global partnerships and sustainable urban development. So it's about mobilizing joint partnership at the local and global le level. And the network uh, seeks to foster um, those joint projects in uh, and across um, cities as well, uh, to support actions, to foster sustainable development, and uh, also to learn from um, cities uh, east, west, north, and south in a global um, sense as well. Uh, particularly, um, the representation of cities from the so-called global south has been uh, a, a particular, seri uh, particular element of under-recognition um, in this uh, in this debate, and the UNESCO network is uh, seeking to uh, um, to improve these relationships. But I guess the key point is that cities all over the world have um, engaged with uh, their local cultures and have found um, way solutions to solve um, the uh, sometimes mismatches between their aspirations. And um, I think we've found increasingly that uh, the um, in, invariably more innovative solutions have come um, from the cities in the global south um, to integrating uh, culture and economic um, development. Um, so um, advocacy uh, is also um, a key element of the uh, Creative Cities Network, um, of course interfacing with other um, elements of the UN uh, family uh, in terms of uh, not just UNESCO but also the UNCTAD, the UN um, 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 Conference on Trade and Development, um, but also um, UN Habitat, etc., etc., cutting across all of the UN agencies. So, this is a way of articulating sets of interest. Um, right across um, the field. And there have been a number of meetings that have uh, sought to bring together an, a forum for representation of those cities um, to engage um, in these debates. And I just want to uh, finish by uh, just making some comments about uh, a reflection on the fact that uh, um, one of the uh, um, jobs I do is help advise on uh, new entrants to the Creative City Network and to reflect upon some of the challenges that cities uh, face in terms of entering the network. Um, the first is usually uh, one of the things that cities find uh, very beneficial about reflecting upon what it is that they can contribute to the Creative City Network is the identification of their own local cultural assets. Often we're used to, as cities, used to talking to other people about some particular aspect of, uh, of what makes us different, um, but we don't often look at the whole range of cultural assets um, that we have throughout the community, both for-profit and not-for-profit, that makes our cities the unique um, uh, um, forms that, the, that they are. So this often is a really good opportunity for cities to look closely at themselves uh, and to look at the wide range of assets that they have to um, offer and to use um, in um, connecting both with themselves and also with the wider uh, community. An important part of this is thinking about the historic relationships and also the social, economic, and cultural linkages. The interconnectivity of all of these activities um, is one of the uh, fields that uh, often when we're talking about only economic development or only regeneration, um, etc., we sometimes downplay the interrelationships, and it's these which uh, we focus on. I guess there is another issue about which field uh, from uh, these, whether it is literature or cinema or crafts, uh, etc., um, that is also thinking about what is the focus um, that uh, fits your city um, best. As I say, one of the things that UNESCO is trying to do is to look at connections across these fields. So they're not the exclusively um, um, that you have to fit yourself in a stereotype uh, area, um, but the interconnectedness is an important part. 
And in terms of thinking about a, uh, of, uh, of promoting yourself on this stage, in terms of thinking about uh, uh, network uh, membership, um, this requires local mobilization of citizens, local agencies, and the creative sector. Again, this is an important part of the self-reflection of cities as creative cities, that they have to talk and interrogate each of their different partnerships and to engage them in an ongoing conversation. Um, so part of the process of engaging with the UNESCO network is one of causing the city to engage with itself uh, as well. And uh, finally, the process of international networking. Um, one of the um, key elements at the moment in the relaunch of the um, Creative City Network is to emphasize very much the international networking and the international benefits to be had from the Creative Cities Network. And therefore, thinking about those connections with other cities and what commitment to contribute to that network uh, may exist, just like the uh, Monash link and many other linkages that uh, um, are had uh, here, is to think about the benefits of exchanging experiences and learning um, from other cities as being one of the, um, I guess, agenda points and uh, hopefully the uh, continued success of the Creative Cities Network. So, thank you very much. That's the UNESCO dimension. We have other dimensions now on Creative Cities um, with, with this. So I'll hand over now. Thanks very much indeed.